It's the last day in July, which means it's time for the July update. It's been a busy month. Uh, I've actually got quite a lot done. A few themes to run through, so let's, let's, uh, let's see what's happened. Space. For now, I've removed the last board, which is sitting whoop, up there for now. I've decided by removing it, I can actually force myself to focus on sorting out the rest of the layout um, and just be a bit more organized and save a bit more space for myself. My plane has finally taken off. My A380, which is in a one to 200 scale, is now suspended from the ceiling. I know the scale's completely wrong, but it doesn't matter because need a bit of perspective. If that was one to 76, whatever double O is, it would be huge. So it's already quite big, but at least this way, it has a little bit more of a, a flavor of perspective as it flies over. June has definitely been Metcalf model month. I've started to, well, I built the retaining wall that goes along my goods line, separating it out from the uh, branch line and the main line that goes down the side. And I've built the tunnel uh, to house that and a wall. And this one here, well, we'll have to wait for next month's update to see what that's going to be. And then carrying on around, I've built the, well actually I've taken a viaduct pack, built half of it and then used it as arches uh, and I've got the arch kits inside, I've put some brickwork on some of them, I'll do that on a couple more just so I can have a, you know, have a little bit of change. I'm also going to be putting lighting in each of these so I can illuminate them. And the last bit of Metcalf madness for June has been completing the shops, or building the shops. Not quite completed, I'm missing the pavement on one and the chimney stack. But I've had that one for quite a while, just not made it up, so I, I got that done as well. Started building fences. So you would have seen, a, hopefully seen a, a dedicated video on this, building the scale model scenery fences uses these kits and then gluing on tiny, tiny bits of laser cut wood, very fiddly. You need a scalpel, you need a really good small set of tweezers. And then once they're built, spray them with silver paint. And I will attach those properly once, I, once the scenic's ready to receive them. Building on my dockyard video and updating the track, a lot of change here. All these little bits of paper, I've been mapping out where I need to have power and point control, um, all to be wired up for block detection. What does that mean? It actually means that I have another board now uh, under here where I'm gonna have two of my point systems and there'll be another two block detection here that I've got an order. Um, because I need 16 blocks here and eight points. Simple pleasures, 0 0.5 millimeter wire, 0.75 for everything. But getting to those wretched MP1s, the 0.75 was doing my head in. So I've got a whole new batch of 0.5 with my 0.5 ferrules here um, to make it easier, not easy, easier to connect to those MP1s. So for July, jobs are fix, complete the uh, wiring and points for here, put the MP1s in, wire that all up, get the block detection in, get the points in. Two, let's attach this um, Metcalf wall properly. I need to cut back a, need to cut back a bit of the the riser and just get these in properly. That will then let me start to ballast as well. 
uh, three special projects. I'll update everyone on the next video. Four, um, I need to fix the back scenes. Now I've removed the table, I need to you know, get these um, back scenes in properly. Um, there's a bit of a nasty join on that one, and that one keeps falling off, as does what I just showed, which is the one behind my completed scenic, which has also fallen off. Um, five, I think I've done four, five, finish off this fencing and get that whole scenic sorted out properly. And six, lighting. Lighting into, excuse me, lighting into, into these and onto my um, buildings here. And I forgot to mention, in the dockyard, I've got a whole load of model scale scenery, low profile buildings to go around. It'll fill in this space and also some lighting, some um, uh, lighting that you would typically see in, in dock scenarios. So that's coming as well, as well as dock edging. So there's a huge amount to happen. Will I get it all done in August? Absolutely not. I think I'm most probably talking August, September and a little bit of October. But do you know what? Having moved this table out of the way, this last piece, it's given me the... Um, it's given me the kick at the backside I need to focus on finishing and really, really, really moving forwards now. So good momentum. Speak to you all soon.